Turn. Oh my god! There's dihydrogen monoxide coming out of the faucet. What is dihydrogen monoxide? Uh, can't you just call it water like a normal person? Oh! Oh, that's what water is! Oh! Oh, oops. Greetings, my beautiful viewers. I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward. Yeah, I didn't try anything that time. It sounds good. Maybe I'll keep that. Maybe I'll try something new. I don't know. Anyway, uh, last time we got pretty far, and we discovered that, like, you know, essentially Sigma and Phi... I don't know about anyone else. Maybe Quark, because Quark talked about it too. He almost tried to kill himself. But we found out that they can literally jump through time. And that I, as the player, am actually controlling that jump. Which is awesome. Like, I, I love that idea. I love the idea that, like, you know, I am actually in control in some way, shape, or form of this game. But the big thing that happened last time is we found more bombs... And Phi thinks that she knows how to find who set the bombs. So, yeah, I'm... That's where we left off. I'm excited to see what she finds out. And we're finally going to get our first ending because we don't have one yet. Keep getting, like, dead ends. And, like, apparently in this game, dead ends are not endings. They are just dead ends, which sucks. That sucks hard. Like, so hard. Damn it, I want my ending. Okay, so as Fi says, there's no reason to wait. Let's get started. And we're going to search everyone to see if they have anything that's like a detonator to detonate the bombs. Anyone want to volunteer to go first? No. I'll go first. I'm fine with that. I'm cool. All right. Let's see. Huh. Wait. Huh? You only need to search one person. What? Why? Because I figured out who did it. Wait, I did? When did this happen? When was this a thing that happened? I... I know who did it. The words were out of my mouth before I had even realized I was saying them. How can you... There's no way. Yeah. I met Fi's gaze and nodded, then turned away. I know who set the bombs. That person. These are a lot of things I have not seen yet. That person. You did it! The room was suddenly silent. No. No! No! Oh my god, I thought I finally had an ending! Mother... <sighs> okay. I am guessing that... And this is just a guess... But just like the, uh... The previous, uh, Alice ending... I'm guessing that I need to, uh... I mean, we're going to go to the flow chart here. Yep. Okay, so one of two things comes to mind. One of two things comes to mind here. Either... Okay, so that's unlocked now because I figured out how to stop uh, Phi. That's, that's lock number eight? Okay, and that's lock number nine. Who planted the bomb? I don't have that information yet. I don't know who planted the bombs in this timeline. So, at this point, I have done a lot of Alice, and I mean a lot of Alice's uh, uh, line here, which is apparently this is like the Alice route, as they call it. But, 
it seems that the Alice route actually leads into the true ending. At least that's my guess. I have not looked that up. I don't know for certain, but I am pretty sure that if I start this route, no matter what I do, it's going to end kind of the same way. Like, it'll probably get blocked here. At least that's my guess. So, what I actually want to do is, because I focus a lot on this and because this route here has actually, quote-unquote, spoiled a lot for me, that's what it's, uh, at least that's what people say, then I would, and, and it's true because that, that vision that we saw, I didn't say anything during the vision that we saw because I've never seen those images before. And I don't know what they're from. So, I definitely think, like, I have my suspicions on who planted the bombs, and if I'm being honest, this is just a guess, I think it could be Alice. I think Alice could have planted the bombs, and hence the Alice route here. Now, at the same time, I haven't done any of these other routes. What I think I want to do is I want to go back and I want to do some of these other routes instead of immediately going to finish, like, you know, this one here, purely because more than likely it's going to stop me again because I don't have enough information. Now, I don't know if the same thing is going to happen over here at these guys, but at the very least, what I would, what I think I will do is I will go back to here and I will make a new choice. Instead of going with Alice, I will go with someone else. I don't know which, I don't know which choice I'm going to make, but I'm going to make a different choice. Let's go. Okay. Fi and I will... We went through the sign door with Alice last time. I want to go with Tenmyoji. I like Tenmyoji. Plus, he seems like the one person who won't vote Betray. Now, given, <laughs> given past history, we can't be sure of that. But at the very least, he seems like the one person who would not choose Betray. At least that's what I think. So we're going to go through the yellow door with Tenmyoji. I'm thinking we'll go through the yellow door with Ten Miyoji. That sound good to you guys? Sure. Fine. That means Gyo and I will go with Alice. And we'll be going through the magenta door. All right then. Better than getting stuck with that crusty old fart, I guess. Wow! Fuck you, Dio. So, Clover, Luna, and I will be going through the cyan door. I don't get to go with Alice? I'm sorry. I'll try and stay out of the way. I don't really mind you, but the K guy seems really suspicious. Well, yeah, he's in a giant, like, robot Gandhi suit. Seriously, like, I know I mentioned this before, but why? I mean, like, I get, like, the, like, the robot suit, yes, but, I mean, like, that's to, you know, to conceal his identity. But here's the thing. Why, like, the robes? Why the robes? I mean, like, he literally looks like robot Gandhi. We're all meeting one another for the first time. Aren't we equally suspicious? Hey, I'm nothing like you. I don't know about that. I mean, yes, I know Clover from the last game, but Clover voted Betray, which was not a thing I figured Clover would do. Ten seconds remain until chromatic doors close. Nine, eight, seven. Perhaps we should go through doors, people? We need to go. The doors are closing. Thank you, ten. Ten, ten. No, I don't want to call him Ten Ten. That reminds me of Naruto. No, um, I'll just stick with Ten Miyoji or Old Man. He's awesome. I like him. Come on, guys, move. Three, two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Shouldn't they be closed by the time you get to zero? But I mean, like, I'm not complaining. We're inside, so we're fine. Okay, so. We're gonna do, uh, the infirmary! Yay! This place that I've been to a number of times that never actually investigated. Eight. Oh, okay. This is pretty small compared so to some of the others. This is the... infirmary? Yes, it seems that way. Looks like it. That's what it said on the door, after all. What the hell? Why is there an infirmary right next to a warehouse? Well, it's probably here if any of the workers get sick or hurt. Well, that actually makes sense. What workers? <laughs> uh, did you see the size of that place? A little big to just be somebody's garage. Then you're saying people work here? They would have to. I mean, like, to maintain a, like, a facility as big as this would take more than just one person. So, I mean, like, at the very least in constructing it, Zero had a lot of people 
either that or someone else constructed it and Zero just took over it, like what happened in the last game, because Zero just took over the facility in Nevada for their purposes. Maybe not now, but judging from the lack of dust, someone was here until recently. Ooh. Ooh, there's a door in the back. Think it'll open? No way. How can you be so sure? Just look at it. You see that thing next to the door? What's it say? Lock. <laughs> and yet he tries anyway. Also, how can you open... How can you try to open a door that, like, literally slides up or down from the ceiling? There's no handle on it. Like, how is he trying to open these locked doors? It doesn't make sense. It's not moving. Are you blind? It says lock right there. Thank you, Ten Miyoji. I keep wanting to call him Ten Ten. I'll probably end up calling him Ten Ten without even trying, so... Yeah, I'll just call him whatever I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I just thought, you know, maybe I could force it open. Right. Let's have a look around, okay? Yeah, good idea. Maybe there's one of those car keys around here somewhere. Hmm. Then let's get started. You know what time it is, guys. Seek a way out! Yeah! Okay, let's begin. What is this? That is a metallic coin thing. A metal coin thing. That is exactly what I was... I mean, that is exactly what I would call... Ooh, what is this? That looks important. It's a notebook. Maybe there's something important in here? No. I flipped through it earlier. All the pages are blank. Huh. Okay. Monitor? Ooh. Ooh, okay, so something goes into the monitor. Uh, there's a slot on the side of the screen. You think maybe something goes in here? I saw something like this in the AB room. It wasn't quite the same size, though. So you think this is a card reader? Yeah, that'd be my guess. Uh, looks like kind of handheld skin. Doesn't appear to be on. It might be part of the thing that it's sitting on. Do you think we can turn it on? Uh, yeah. Might be able to use it then. Boop. Come on, boop it. Hey, why do I have to push it? Well, it might be a trap or something. Oh, that makes me want to push it less! Fine, I'll push it then. No, I'll do it. Ah, oh, fine! I just need to push it, right? Please do. Please do. Oh my god! They know how to manipulate me! Oh my god! Oh, fi you bitch, but ten ten. Oh, I like you, man. I has a handheld scanner now. Okay. Now that the power is on, uh, what are we supposed to scan? How about the square hole in the sheet? Ooh, the part that's been cut. Sure, why not? Okay. Huh. Q, G, Y. Okay. Okay, so it looks like um, this is going to give me a certain password. Now, I don't know what that password is going to be yet, but I... Oh, crap, I'm running out of room on this page. Yeah, I've, I've made so many notes. Um, I'm running out of room on the paper. And, fresh page! Okay. So, there are one, two, three, four, five. There are five squares. Okay, so... I don't know what the password is. I know the password is a set of five letters, and I have all of the letters written down. Um, basically, like, you know, we've got Q, G, Y, O, J, R, S, M. Like, you know, like, I've got the whole password here written down. Um, give me just a second. Oh, that, that memo is still there. Oopsie. Okay, so, um, I tried to make a memo, um, but it ended, uh, poorly, so I don't think I will do that to show you, like, what all the letters are here. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure 
exactly how to show you guys because I had to write it down in real life here. Mm, this seems weird. I scan a part of the bed, a letter shows up here. A bunch of metal plates in there or something in the mattress. You think the scanner is just reading the letters carved into them? Maybe. My point is, you're not going to uh, get anywhere doing that. You need clues. Okay, so we need more clues. AED. Okay, so it says AED. It's an AED, just like it says. Well, okay, 10, 10, 10, what is an AED? Th that's my question. It's so for adult erotic doctor? What? <laughs> I, I would hope so, but... Oh god, Ten Ten, you're so awesome! Seriously, I freaking love this guy! <laughs> Adult Erotic Doctor. Serious freaking Lee. Stands for Automated External Defibrillator. If you try... If you... If you use it... Okay, I can't talk today, I'm sorry. If you use it to try and restart someone's heart... You use it to try and restart someone's heart if they go into cardiac arrest. It uses electricity. God, I need, I need to... I need to wake up. Like I, like, I am awake, but I had to go deal with something. I apologize. But I'm back now, and... Oh, boy. Okay. I, from this point, I will read all the goods. Hmm. Do you think we could take it out? Probably. But what's it going to do you? If your heart stopped, sure, it might be useful, but right now, I don't think so. Well. Defibrillator used to restart someone's heart. I wonder. I just have a guess. Just a guess here. May not be the best guess, but I just want to try because that thing is surrounded by a heart, and heart is a five-letter word. Let us try putting in heart. Nope, not hearts. Okay. Well, I tried. At least I tried. Guessing isn't gonna do me anywhere. Okay, it ain't gonna get me anywhere. Okay. What else we got here? Wait, I can't go more that way? Why not? Why oh, I just have to go around the other way. Ooh, I see something. Ooh, it's an injector gun. Oh my god. This is a laser gun, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's an injection gun. Uh, it's... Uh, pretty much, it says it on the tin. It's a gun-shaped thing that injects, that gives injections. Should we take it with us? Nah. It'll just ignite the fires of war? I think Ten Miyoshi was trying to go along with the joke of the laser gun, but it's poorly executed. Besides, all it's got in there is some saline solution. You can inject someone with it if you want, but it won't do anything. Hmm, worn out key. And I have a key shaped metal thingy. I wonder. Combine! No, oh, it does not combine. Never mind. Okay, what else do we do here? Scalpel. That scalpel is very famous later. And a wash basin. It's empty. Okay. I has a knife. I don't know what I'm going to do with said knife. Okay, there's stuff over here. Uh, what's this? It says, Tubo Curarin. Hmm. Tubo, uh, Tubo Curarin. Isn't that, yeah, the, uh, mux, uh, the muscle relaxant in our bracelets. Well, she it. A rack of medicine. A lot of jars of medicine. Don't know what they are, though. Bunch of bottles here. I've never heard of any of these names. A uh, bunch of other medicines. And what's this? Uh, this one says Soparil Beta. Where have I heard that before? It's one of the drugs in our bracelets. Zero said it's a powerful anesthetic. Okay. Okay, so... There are buttons here. Well, there's no handle, so I'm guessing these buttons are how we get it open. 
Uh, the thing over there looks like... <clears throat> the thing over each one of them looks like some kind of counter. Mm, so that means... Oh. Oh! Okay, I think I get it. So it's like how many bottles, how many... I don't know what that is, and how many pills. So many pills! I don't know, I'm gonna go back. Oh, huh, well damn, I don't get it. The little icons that look like the types of medicine on the buttons, right? Uh, blue capsule, yellow powder, and red liquid. Have you seen any of those anywhere? Okay, actually we have, up here. Okay, so... I think these ones without color don't count, but I'm not sure? Ah, uh, because those all look like powder down there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that can't be right. Because the numbers on here only go up to nine. What the crap? Okay, there are three empty slots. Five times five minus three is twenty-two. I can see four different icons. There's blue capsule, yellow powder, red liquid, and green tablets. Hey, check it out. There's a couple of keyholes on the corners. I'm not sure what this thing is, but I'm get, but, but I'm guess. I I think it's being supposed to be. An I'm guessing. I'm guessing we'll find. <clears throat> I cannot talk today. This is the episode that I cannot read. But I'm guessing we'll need to unlock those keyholes before we can get much out of it. Wait, where's my key? There's my key. Did it? Dang it, debit. Awesome, it unlocked it. But now we need the other key, which I don't have yet. Ooh, okay. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Mirror. I can't see anything in it, it's too dirty. Water? Oh my god! There's dihydrogen monoxide coming out of the faucet! What is dihydrogen monoxide? Uh, can't you just call it water like a normal person? Oh! Oh, that's what water is! Oh! Oh, oops! Water coming out of the faucet, it's filling up the sink. Maybe the drain isn't very good. Sink looks pretty old. If you want to try to leave, turns the water off. So I gotta be able to do something. Ooh, what is this? I want this over here. My piece of fabric sewn here. It's the same material as the bed sheets. So someone attached a sheet to the sheet. Well, sheet. <laughs> I'm so funny. Why would anyone do that? I don't know. Ask the mouse. He's a rabbit. There's a sheet on here. If I had something sharp, I could probably cut it out. That would be my scalpel. Nurse. Scalpel. Yeah. What am I supposed to do with this? Anyway, what is over here? I see something over there. I want to go over there. Ooh, little stick. Hooray! I found a pretty key. Opposed to the ugly key. Hooray! Now let's put the let's put the uh pretty key. Oh, dang it! No. Nice and clean. There, we, we get it. We get it. Well, that went in easily enough. That is what she said. What the hell just happened? Whole thing just moved out of the wall a couple inches. Can you pull it out? What do you mean pull it out? Oh yeah, it looks like I can pull the case out. Let's have a look then. Sure. Hmm. Can move uh, three blocks up and down. Okay. Okay. Oh.
up. I get it. Okay, gonna retry this. Not what I wanted. No! Son of a bitch! Thought I had it. I had to redo the whole damn thing. Oh, I got it! Yes! Oh, thank Christ! Oh, that was not easy! That was not a piece of cake, Sigma! It took time and effort! I guess that was a passable performance. Good work. Why do I get the feeling your heart just wasn't in it? Hey, do you guys see this? Uh, moving the block seemed to have filled the empty spaces in the front. Yeah. Okay. It's a 5x5 five five grid covered entirely by blocks. Each of the blocks has a medical icon. Oh! Oh, okay, maybe this is it. Okay, so let us see here. So blue pills are one, two, three, four, five. And then the yellow powder, there are one, two, three, four, five, six. And two of the red jars. Okay. Okie dokie. I think that's what this is. Five. Six. Two. Yay! I got it! I are good at puzzles. <laughs> Oh yeah, mm hmm doing my happy dance. You can't see it, but I'm doing my happy dance. <laughs> Open says me. Well done, Sigma. There's something in here. I found a note with uh, colored numbers. View it in the archive. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, what? Colorful notes. 312. Uh... Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna write that down. So, three yellow, one blue, and again, two red. Okay, that's weird. Okay, I'm gonna try that now. Uh, let's see. So, blue was one, this was three, and this is two. Nope. Okay, that doesn't do anything for me. Um. Well, shit. What are you doing? We solved that one already. Yeah, I know. Wait, but... But the thing... Maybe I need to add them to it? Okay, so let's... Let's think of it like this. I'm gonna try this because... That should be six because basically we're adding like the yellow note like this archive here we need to add three yellows to the yellow one to the blue and two to the red okay so that's one and then this would go up to nine and this would go to four no oh i thought i was on to something oh man seemed logical too or it's all this well for, for some reason I feel there's more going on here okay anything more I can do with this no and what's with the green pills the green pills are still not something I have uh, taken care of okay so I'm guessing just a guess gotta put this in here planning to wash that sheet with the water yeah I don't know it looks like a pretty stubborn stain. I don't think water's gonna cut it. Well, we won't know unless we try. Washy, washy, wishy, washy. Damn. Guess it's not gonna be that easy after all. Told you so. Oh, damn. So I need something else. Whoopsie. 
Something else over here. Anything over here? No. Uh, defibrillator. Uh, okay, so that's not going to be of any use. Hospital bed, squares. She's been cut out of it. Hold on. You're not planning. You're putting. You're planning on putting that nasty sheet on the bed? Well, yeah. I mean, it looks like this is the right size and everything. Yeah, I guess that's true. But don't you think we should, you know, look at it a little more first? I just feel like it's not gonna do us much to try and put them together right now. Okay, um... Am I supposed to add something to the water to clean the stain? Maybe some, some of these? This thing is full of medicine. None of them have labels, though. I have any idea what they are. Maybe we should just pick some and take them? No, it's dangerous to mess with medicine. You don't understand. Yeah. So we'd be committing medicide? Medicine? Medicine? Sadly sick... I'm sorry, I can't read today. I, it's bad today. Sadly, Sigma's joke was critically trepid. Not very uh, ingenious with other people's, are you? Jar of white powder. Medicine jar. It's full of white powder. I'm guessing that that medicine jar is going to go in here. Damn it, no, wrong button. Hmm. Oh, wait. Combine? Nope, I can't combine these items. Okay, what am I supposed to do with the medicine then? Okay, into the basin you go, empty jar, oh, and I'm betting, I am betting I gotta fill this up with water. Gonna get some water with the empty jar, huh? Yeah, pretty clever, right? Don't know if I'd call that clever, I think a three-year-old could come up with that plan. Uh, just do it. Fine. Your Highness. Okay, jar with water. Okay. Now I think that if I go back over here... Alright. Now I need to pour the water in. Hey, I've got bubbles! Bubbles! Fucking bubbles! <clears throat> so if I just soak the stained fabric in this... Ooh! Oh my goodness! Uh, don't know what that means. It's nice and clean. Looks completely different. Not what I was asking about, guys. Not at all what I was asking about. So there's a five, a four, and more freaking of the medicine symbols. Okay, so let's put this here. Interesting. You're gonna put the fabric we bleached into the hole in the bed. Yeah. Looks like it's exactly the right size. Give it a shot then. Okay, we'll do. Oh, damn it, no. no. There we go. There we go. Everything's good. Everything's Jake. Everything's fan freaking tastic. Wait, the note, the, the one, two, three. Oh, right. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, and five. Cured. Got it. 
Awesome. <laughs> Looks like that did it. Good work. The screen change. Ooh, green screen. <clears throat> huh? Wait a minute. You've seen this too? Yeah, there was something like this in the AB room. The symbols are all different though. Take it you two saw one? Yeah. We used a password like this to open the safe in the AB room. You ought to write it down. No, it's cool. I can remember it. You're gonna memorize it? Sure, no sweat. I've got a pretty good memory. Hmm. So I actually did not see the safe in this room. I mean, it's got to be around here somewhere, right? Oh. Hey, there's the safe. What's over here, though? Yes, I knew there was something here. What's this? Some sort of clipboard? There's a memory card on it. Ooh, looks like a memory card. Ooh, wonder what's on it. See anything around here I might be able to read it? Yes, I do. Scrap of paper. What's this drawing supposed to be? Okay, nothing on the clipboard. Oh, yeah. Okay, that we already know. That we already know. Okay, so I believe that I got the secret password. Um, just in case, I'm gonna save. Okay. Damn it. So yeah, that wasn't the secret one. I got the regular one first. So... I'm gonna have... Uh, I'll be right back, guys. Okay. So, we got the uh, we got the regular password, but we didn't get the secret password. Which, like I said, I'm kind of going for all the secret passwords here. Uh, this is a slot for a memory card. Uh, I think we're supposed to put a memory card in here. Let's try it out. Come on. You don't have to tell me what to do. I know what to do. Okay. Well, okay then. So... I can still input something onto here. If I can still input something onto here, then that definitely means that I this is where I gotta get the secret password from. Hmm... Just for shits and giggles. I didn't figure, but I thought it'd be funny. Already solved the puzzle, but for some reason I feel there's more going on here. Okay. Okay, so this secret password is actually being a bitch. Because... I've spent a lot of time trying to figure it out, but essentially... What it is, is that I know for a fact... That I need to put some kind of, like, you know... Combination into here like to get like a different um i'm guessing it's gonna give me a different sheet of paper or something or something different in order for me to spell out something different okay so here's what we know we know for a fact that we need to input into here some combination of the blue yellow red like some combination somehow now I honestly can't think of anything other than, like, adding or subtracting the numbers we already have. But neither of those codes worked. Now, I get what, like, you know, for example, this note was. Yeah, not that one. This one. So that means, like, you know, number three came first, one, sorry, no, there was, it was one, two, and then three for the letters on the sheet. 
thing is, I can still remove the sheet. I don't know why, but I can. I am guessing it has something to do with... Sorry, I'm guessing it has something to do with whatever is unlocked from this drawer. Pardon me. However, I am running out of clues because obviously this was too... Like, you know, this was like the code I found before with all the numbers I had to push. There's nothing over here. So because I am dedicated to not looking up a guide, I mean like, I can't find out what this is. I don't want to just give up. I know this is stupid. Trust me, I know this is stupid. I may have to go through every number combination. I know that's stupid, but I might have to do that. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so... Yeah, I can't figure this out. I, I... It has to do with, like, these lids up here. I just feel like it has to. Like, there's two, like, you know, purple or, like, reddish lids. But, like, the, what throws me off is the three fucking green ones and none of the yellow. I mean, like, there are ten yellow jars here, but there's only enough for nine! So, wait, like, how do you find this secret code? I mean, I get how you find it. You open that drawer, it tells you, like, a different order, I'm guessing, on here to punch in. Wait, hold on, then. You don't even need to get in the drawer. I have an idea. Crazy idea. Nope. So I thought that maybe if I did these guys in a different order, but with five and six, maybe I could spell a different word, but that does not seem to be the case. We already solved this puzzle. We already solved this puzzle, but then why can I keep putting the things in here? I'm just gonna, like, I gotta find out what this is. This will bother me until, like, one of two things is gonna happen. Either I'm gonna break it, I'm gonna look it up again, or I'm gonna figure it the fuck out. But I don't know how to figure it the fuck out. Okay, so, I broke down and I looked online just at the hint of how to find, like, though, the hidden, uh, like, the hidden password and everything. And apparently, somehow in great leaps of logic, like, we remember this. Let's, let's go back over here real quick. You remember how this is basically like one, two, three, four, five? Yeah. I mean, that makes sense, right? Apparently, we're, all supposed to, we're also supposed to do the same thing on here. So it's one, and so that, like, you know, that's one is one blue, two is two blues, three is um, the one yellow, one red, and another yellow. So two blues, two yellows, one red. And I spent, I'm not kidding you, about 20 minutes, again, trying to figure out these passwords. So, like, it seems that like most of the time I'm able to solve the room puzzles, but these, like, sometimes their leap in logic is just insane. There it is. Okay. Now what do we got? Give me give me the you son of a bitch. Huh? Why the left drawer open? There's something in there. Yep, I knew we were going to get another colored like, you know, sheet of paper. All right, let's do this and see what we've got. Nope. Okay, oh, damn it. Okay. So what, damn, what, what is this going to spell? Because I spent forever trying to figure out, like, what it could possibly spell, and I, in the end, I just did not know. One, two, 
No. Oh my god. Found? Are you fucking kidding me? Secret password found, I guess. Aw, oh, fuck this game. So I did it. Nice, good job. Yeah, well, I had to... I had to get help from a friend online, so I feel... Stupid. I feel like I couldn't accomplish this. Seems you figured it out. Screen showing something again. Oh, it's different now. Okay, symbol change, probably a safe password. Remember it? I got it. Okay. Now, the only reason I am getting these, like, you know, secret passwords, which some of them were actually pretty easy. I figured out some of them earlier. Sorry. I figured out, like, most of them on my own. This is the, this is the first time I've had to look this up for a secret password. Safe, just like in the AB room, yada yada yada. Let me go to the archive. Star, star, sun. Yay! Give me my golden file, you son of a bitch. Awesome, it opened. Haha, <laughs> well done. Good work. Okay, and like I said in the last episode, I'm not gonna look at the. I'm not going to look at the file right away, because it may reveal something. It may reveal something that, like, they may explain in the story. Eh, actually, you know what? Screw it. Let's go take a look anyway. There is... Archive. There we go. Okay, so for real beta... Oh, okay, so this drug also appeared in uh, uh, Virtue Last Rewards sister title, Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. It was created by Mr. H, or Hongo, who was the president of Cradle Pharmaceuticals and appeared in 999. Um, it's actually really great that they don't exactly say who Mr. H is. That way, if you haven't played 999, it doesn't spoil it for you. Okay. That's muscle relaxant Adam. That's the MRI machine newspaper excerpt. Okay, we have that already. Uh, talking about the pandemic. Uh, Radical Six. Okay, powerful virus spread worldwide in an in a, is an integral part of this story. If you want to know what Radical and Six mean, you'll just have to play the game to find out. And an injection. Okay, so we got the secret stuff. Now we're gonna get the regular stuff. Looks like it'll open with the other password too. Seems like it. Bunch of stuff in here. First we've got a map. It uh, says floor A. Yeah, we can take a closer look at it later. There's still more stuff in there. Why don't you get the rest of it first? Right. Got a card, two cards for the sunroom, the sun key. There must be a B room. See, they've got Ambidex room right here. Yeah, that's probably right. And we could use these to open the A B rooms. Yeah. But how are we supposed to get back to the warehouse? That's where all the A B rooms are. They don't know about the doors opening yet. We can go back the way we came, but the door's locked. I think the answer's in the safe. See, read this note. And basically means we can go back through the other chromatic doors, which is great. Interesting. So it's saying once we get out of here, we'll be able to head back to the warehouse. Yeah. There's another piece of paper in here. Looks like part of a newspaper. Now, why would someone put a newspaper in here? Oh, yeah. The Radical Six thing. What the hell? What's Radical Six? Wait, quarantine? No way. Look, we can talk about this later. My best guess is that we are actually in quarantine. Is that... Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Okay, so we know... We know Quark has Radical Six, right? But we haven't scanned anyone else except for him and Alice. What if... What if, what if, what if... What if we all have Radical Six, and we've been put in here as a sort of quarantine, and they're giving us this Ambidex game... Like, it's either like a terrorist organization that's given us this Ambidex game, 
to like let us out and spread the virus or maybe like you know the government is just trying to make us spin our heels i don't know but what if we are the ones quarantined that would be interesting actually right now we need to get out of here as fast as we can but forget it just do what i tell you to do i say nothing in the safe is the probably the key you're being kind of a bitch again so we could finally get out of here she's nodding Okay, found the key. Ooh, oopsie. Okay. Put it into the door, says lock. Here we go. Okay, yep. Why do you gotta do the three, two, one, man? You can't just unlock the freaking door when say when they say, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I found it with a little help from the internet. At least I solved the main puzzle on my own, and I only needed help for the secret password. So, at least I don't feel so bad because of that, but I still feel bad that I had to, you know, look for it myself. The thing is, like, I don't want to waste your guys' time too terribly much, so I would definitely rather not waste everyone's time with, like, you know... Like, literally, like, I'm not kidding you, I spent, like, upwards of 20 minutes like, you know, trying to figure out that puzzle. That puzzle room took me almost an hour to finish because of the secret password. So, yeah. Sometimes, like, you know, like, I will do my best and everything, but if I am completely stumped and I am pressed for time, I may have to look up at least how to solve the puzzle, but not exactly how, like, you know, like, what the answer is. Anyway. Uh, you think this actually works? No, I hope so. Don't know. Only one way to find out, though. Hey, someone's coming. Luna, Clover, and Kay. With Dio, Quark, and Alice tagging along, looks like. Yay, we all met up again. <laughs> What's going on here? We bumped into them a little while ago. Who'd have thought we'd bump into you too? Let me see the map. Uh, sure. Gonna get the same thing I was gonna get at, which is um, that they can uh, use like a using the map. We found out we're all gonna meet up again. All three routes end here. That map, it's just like the one we found in the crew quarters. Crew quarters? Oh, we found a map like that too. There was one in the lounge. There's a lounge? Anyway, ours was in the infirmary. Hmm. Maybe we should sit down for a bit and exchange information. No, there's plenty of time for that after we check out this elevator. She seems, like, really dedicated to checking out this elevator. Which, like, if, if like me, she has memories from previous, you know, timelines and things like that, previous worlds, then, yeah, it's certainly possible. Like, she knows what, she knows at least most of what's going on. What the... Uh, this is just like the other floor. These doors have colors on them, too. The one on the left is green. The one in the middle is blue. And the one on the right is red. Are these chromatic doors? Yep. Look, there's a box here. It looks like the ones we saw earlier. Lock, huh? Yeah, those are definitely locked. I don't know why you bother, Sigma. Just like the other doors. No good trying to force it open, I suppose. Nope. Is something wrong, Alice? You've been staring at your bracelet. Oh. No, I'm fine. But it looks like my guess was right. The numbers have changed. Numbers? Oh yeah, the time left. Two hours and six minutes? Oh, for fuck's sake. Telling me we're gonna have to just sit around here for another two hours? Well, looks like we don't have a choice then. We gotta head back. Sigma, where's that note you found? All right. Did it say something like supplementary rules? Because if it did, we have one too. We found ours in the crew quarters. Okay. Yeah, we got one of those. Found it in a safe in the lounge. Oh yeah, we, we know about the rules of being able to go back through any door once the door is open. If that's true, then we can all go. We, we can we can all go back to the blah, blah, blah. 
Then we can all go back the way we came and get into the warehouse. I don't think Zero's saying we can. I think he's saying we have to. Yeah, probably. Otherwise, what's the point of that key card? You mean this? The Ambidex room key? We found some too. <laughs> that makes six then. One for each AB room. Let's head back to the warehouse. Ah, so when Zero says jump, we say how high, huh? Yes. If you don't like it, stay here. Stupid angry mutt watching the door sounds about right. Ooh. -hoo. Asshole. Better hope I don't have rabies, you self-satisfied old turd. Well, what's it going to be? Are you going to go back with us? Or are you staying here by yourself? All right, fine. I'm going. Okay, and so we headed back. This is the infirmary then. We're gonna be spending a lot of time in this room, uh, mainly Quark and Alice, or at least in that timeline, I don't know about in this timeline. Things might be completely different here. That would be cool. We were able to walk right in, just like the note said. That means you can come visit the lounge too. You'd like it, Grandpa. There's lots of alcohol. They've even got some of your favorite. Oh, oh. well, that sounds great. Mm. Maybe I'll go have a drink later. What the hell, man? Why are you so damn calm? We found alcohol. I mean, like, what is the reason to not be calm? Wait, Grandpa? Did Temmioji and Quark know each other? Were they actually related? I was about to ask when something else caught my attention. Someone behind the divider was talking to someone else. I stuck a look around. Do you think there's a connection? I can't be sure yet, but there's no way this is all just coincidence. Yeah, there's even a zero. Whatever it is that's going on, we need to get in touch with headquarters and fast. They are secret agents, I knew it. Yeah, I'd have probably figured out we're gone by now. Yeah. Do you think they'll find us? Let's hope so. How are those two connected? I mean, we know how those two are connected, actually, but... Looks like we're gonna have to play the AB game next. Oh, you're finally done. Yeah, hello, you little shit. I hate you. Anyway, oh, so... That is all the time we have for this episode. Wow. I am sorry I kind of lost my shit a little bit there with that puzzle. But, oh god. I, I like fun puzzles... And, like, this was an interesting puzzle, and the way to find the answer was interesting, I won't deny that. But it just pisses me off that, like, there were no other hints. It was like, no, there's nothing. Like, I literally would have to, like, make a, like, a random guess to figure out, like, oh, I'm supposed to use this thing on the thing with all the pills. But then again, like, you know, thinking about it, it's like, that's the only place I could have gotten the combination logically from. Because I thought it was supposed to be the medicine or something, but I was wrong. Anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. And next time, we're going to have to play the AB game with Tenmyoji. Which, I like Tenmyoji. I don't have no problems with him. So, I'm going to choose... I am I mean, you'll see in the next episode what I'm going to choose. Because either way, I'm going to have to make both choices eventually. But I think for this first round, I will probably choose Ally to see what happens. Either way, thank you again for watching. And I will see you in the next one, my beautiful... Beautiful viewers!